dear students i am father thomas pj assistant professor department of applied electronics and instrumentation rajagiri school of engineering and technology today let us discuss on sustainable development a brief historical review until two decades ago the world looked at economic status job income and standard of living alone as a measure of human development impact on environment was often neglected most of developed countries not only exploited their own natural resources rapidly but also used the natural resources of developing countries all became consumers of goods and services this form of development did not add quality of life as the environmental conditions has begun to deteriorate in the form of air and water pollution solid waste accumulation and a variety of other ill effects that seriously affected people's well-being and health disparity in lifestyle between the rich and the poor was made worse by the above and sustainable development strategies all these ill effects degradation promoted thinkers to take steps towards conserving the existing environment the five factors that constitute quality of life the education factor the spiritual factor the family factor the stress factor the psychological factor the work factor the health and safety factor by aristotle quality of life is determined by its activities six sigler told there is a difference between standard of living and quality of life quality of life is more important for alexis carrel the quality of life is more important than life itself according to castro quality of life lies in knowledge and culture values are what constitute true quality of life the supreme quality of life even a bow food shelter and clothing mahatma gandhi told it is the quality of our work which will please god as not the quantity apj abdul kalam said you cannot change your future but you can change your habits and surely your habit will change your future tony robbins told to create an extraordinary quality of life you must create a vision that's not only obtainable but that is sustainable according to me the quality of life is some total of all aspects that nurture life to its fullness and fairness you may reflect on what is quality of life to you the idea of sustainable development was born in the year 1713 when carlo witz came up with his book on forest science in which he argued that timber would be as important as our daily bread thomas malthus in his book an essay on the principle of population has stated that population multiplies geometrically and food production multiplies arithmetically the recommendations from 1972 un stockholm conference were later discussed in the world conservation strategy meet held in the year 1980 in this meeting the term sustainable development was first used later in 1983 The United Nations convened the World Commission on Environment and Development under the chairmanship of Brent Land. The commission published its report in 1987 titled Our Common Future. 
This report defined sustainable development as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. United Nations Conference on Environment and Development held at Rio de Janeiro put the world on the path towards sustainable development. The summit adopted the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development which contained 27 key principles of integrating environmental conservation and policies. It also adopted a global action plan for sustainable development known Agenda 21. One of the major outcomes of the summit was the creation of the Commission on Sustainable Development to monitor the implementation of Agenda 21. Governments met in Kyoto, Japan to debate on the problem of global warming. Previous agreements had tried to limit emission of carbon dioxide. At Kyoto, a new set of targets for the reduction of greenhouse gases was agreed. By 2012, emission of six major greenhouse gases must be reduced to below 1990 levels for the target period 2008 to 2012. The United Nations adopted Millennium Development Goals in the year 2000 to be achieved by 2015. The goals are eradicate extreme poverty and hunger, achieve universal primary education, promote gender equality and empower women, reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases, ensure environmental sustainability, develop a global partnership for development. The well-known Johannesburg World Summit on Sustainable Development was held in the year 2002. United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development held at Rio de Janeiro highlighted a range of interlinked challenges which call for priority attention including decent jobs, energy, sustainable cities, food security and sustainable agriculture, water, oceans and disaster readiness. Nations of the world met in September 2015 at the UN in New York and adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, the successor framework to Millennium Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals have adopted an all-inclusive approach taking on board challenges faced by all nations and promoting the cooperation between the private and public sector in the execution of the goals. Thus, the concept of sustainable development created a considerable momentum across the world and a series of actions across the globe which recognize the importance of balancing developmental activities, quality of life and environmental conservation. Sustainability balances economic, social and environmental goals and objectives. Poverty is not an accident, like slavery and apartheid. It is man-made and can be removed by the action of human being. Nelson Mandela Our biggest challenge in this new century is to take an idea that seems abstract, sustainable development, and turn it into a reality for all the world's people, Kofi Annan. Sustainable development is the pathway to the future we want for all. It offers a framework to generate economic growth, achieve social justice, exercise environmental stewardship, and strengthen governance. Ban Ki-moon Preservation of the environment, promotion of sustainable development, and particular attention to climate change are matters of grave concern for the entire human family, Pope Benedict XVI. Reference books. Thank you very much.